Johan Arvidsson, uh, CEO of Nexam Chemical, and like you said, uh, I have Christer Svanberg, uh, our CTO. And, and uh, so we will really do a deep dive into the technology a bit later on. I will give you a, a brief introduction to, to Nexam uh, first, and then we tell you a little bit more uh, around our technology. Nexam Chemical, we are making additives for plastic. And uh, we both develop, uh, we produce, and we sell the additives for plastic. And it's uh, sometimes in, in the general debate, uh, it's uh, the question whether plastic should exist or, or not at all. That, that's uh, a topic you hear from every now and then. And, and of course, it's possible to come to the conclusion that it should never have been invented. On, on the other hand, uh, plastic material or polymer material is also a foundation for a lot of things we take for granted in our society. It is kind of difficult to, to uh, see a grocery store without uh, any plastic packaging. I think we will see that also in the coming years. Uh, when you're doing sports, everything you wear and have on is usually in plastic, especially I, I, you see the, the skiing uh, uh, people on, on the pictures. Also in renewable energy, it's a lot of plastic, and, and that's uh, where we found one of our uh, really gr growth uh, areas uh, in, in uh, windmills and the core material for windmills. Um, so we are trying to make plastic better with our additives. Uh, better in a way that they could be stronger or lighter, uh, but also, and this is something that is becoming more and more interesting, uh, easier to recycle. And I wrote here, uh, perhaps a little bit provocative for the plastic uh, uh, industry, that plastic market under reconstruction. And, and it's like uh, we will see some projections about how big the plastic industry will be in a few years. And yeah, it's easy to come to the conclusion that there are some links missing, and we can be uh, one of those links. And it's nice to be just after NASDAQ, because we actually took the opportunity to go for one of these uh, programs. We did it a bit more than a year ago, uh, the program NASDAQ called uh, Green Designation, uh, or Green Equity Designation. That's something uh, which we think is like a hands-on and auditable uh, system that will tell you the story about the company and its business model. I, I couldn't explain it better than, than the speaker before me, actually. So, so that was a good introduction. Uh, we are happy for it. It helps us in our daily uh, work, and it, it, it's also... a, a, a a transparency for investors that you can actually uh, see the report that has gone through both the products we make but also how we make them. So, so it, it has been a robust system that we really like. Often, you, Nexam is a company that is here and now. We, we have a fantastic future and a fantastic possible development, but we are already in this development. We have a foundation for further growth. We are selling f uh, last year for uh, a bit over 200 million Swedish crowns. Uh, and, and we have had a steady growth since uh, about 2016. We usually say that we, our ambition is to grow by 25% a year. We have been doing that for most of the years since uh, during this time period. Last year was a challenge. The challenge is possible to describe under uh, uh, wind energy. There wasn't a lot of wind uh, and uh, windmills built last year, and that, that we took a hit from that. Uh, and that is, uh, and, but for the rest, we are developing nicely and we expect to bounce up uh, quite heavily when wind industry is, is uh, getting started a little bit uh, uh, more uh, again. So, I will soon hand over to the main speaker uh, today, but uh, just a little, some words around our offering where we are looking for business and... and uh, it has 
like I said, uh, making plastic better, uh, lighter and lightweighting, that was really the beginning of Nexam. How can we make it stronger, more temperature resistant and so on? That was the focus from the very beginning. And, we, and, and that is still an area where we are uh, exploring business opportunities. Uh, one area is, is high temperature resistant composite materials that can be used in, in aircraft engines, for instance. This is something we do. We sell materials that are used in aircraft engines. Uh, we, by exploring some of these uh, uh, technologies, we came into an area that has been super interesting for us. Uh, it is the PET foam is a core material in windmills, and we found additives that could uh, improve those materials, make them more useful and stronger. Uh, so we found a business that connected us directly to, to uh, wind energy. And that was r one of the real growth factors in Nexam. It's also a demonstration that we actually can take new technology to the market and initiate business. And we will now do a little bit more of a deep dive into our next, uh, what shall we call it, uh, hopefully top seller and best area. And that will, the wind energy will remain, we will continue with that. But we expect waste and recycling really to be our uh, next big uh, item. So, uh, Mister. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so, let's just focus or zoom out a little bit. What are we talking about? If you look at how much plastic that's produced globally, it's approaching 500 million tons per year. It's huge. It's massive. And if you look at the kind of polymers that we use, <clears throat> almost half of them are polyolefins and PET. And the reason why I mentioned those will be rather obvious in a few slides. But a key issue is if you look at the recycling rate, on a global level, it's only about 10%. So out of all this plastic that we produce, it's only a tiny fraction that we actually manage to put back in the loop. In Europe, yes, we are doing better, but also the ambition is very high. So the Commission's vision is that by 2030, which is basically tomorrow, we should have 50% of all the plastic waste uh, recycled. It's a huge challenge. It challenges the whole society. How can we do it? And what I want to show in the next coming slide is that Nexam has a role to play in this. We have one part that where we can play a role. What is the issue with plastic? I've been working in the plastic industry for 50 years. I think it's a brilliant material. It's one of the best that we ever had, personal opinion. What is the issue is not so much the material. It's actually how we use it. So typically, we produce it, we use it, and we waste. That is not sustainable. That is not the way we can continue doing, just wasting this good feedstock. So what we need to do is to transition into a circular economy. So after the waste, we collect, we sort the material, we put it into recycler, and we put it back into the loop, so we produce something new out of it again, something valuable, and not just downgrading it. We try to make something very valuable. This goes for basically all things that we do in circular economy. What about plastics? Well, very simplistically, what is a polymer? A polymer is a long chain of a simple building unit that you repeat hundreds of thousands of times. So build a long chain. And this is the reason for all the beautiful properties that you get, the mechanical strengths, and so on and so forth. But when you use the material and when you process the material, especially if you do it over and over again, you can break or you can damage that chain. So, when you come to the recycler, when you have collected this one, it's not necessarily the same chain as we had in the first place. It can be smaller, it's shorter, and it can be damaged. So, that is an issue, because then we can't just put it back into the loop. And now, this is where Nexam comes into play. We have developed technology where we can at least partly repair or restore. I don't say that we take it back. It's not exactly back to the original place. But we can actually uh, take back quite a few of the most important properties. We call this reactive recycling, because it's basically exactly what we do. 
it's recycling and we're doing a reactive process here. By doing this, for parallel events and PET, we have technology for that, then we can actually create value for our customer because they can use it for more highly value added product or they can use more recycled material. Both of them are key and important in order to increase the amount of uh, recycling rate that we have. Two important things is that the technology that we have, uh, our customer can use it by their existing uh, compounding machine that they have. They don't have to invest in anything new. They simply use their own process, uh, they can use our additive and they can create something that has new properties, that is more what we want to have for the high value products. I will then take two examples. Actually, interesting enough, I mean, the bottles that you have, this is a PET bottle, right? One of the polymers that we have, we um, actually recycle quite good. But, as I said, when you use this material and when you actually process it again, when you want to remelt it to another bottle, eventually we start to degrade that one. You break the polymer. So, in order to actually regain the properties, we have additives that you can put into your material and you can restore or rebuild partly the molecules as well. So we can actually use it to more highly value product instead of just downgrading it each time. Um, so this is one thing where we try to help closing the loop, coming back so we actually do recycling. Another thing where Nexum can provide technology is when you have recycled plastics, it typically comes in the color of green, brown, or gray. But we still expect to have the nice color of, of the product that we expect. So Nexum also has technology so we can color these materials into the stuff that we want to have. So if you put this in a bigger perspective, for a few things, or the key some key polymers, Nexum can provide the right color. We can also help building better properties of the recycled material that you have. So this is one of the areas where we believe we see a great future. We see opportunity where we can actually be part of this and build something new. And coming to the last slide, I've been working 15 years in the polymer industry and the change that we see now, going from the linear economy to the circular economy, and that is a fundamental change. It will require a lot of technology. and We have to build up new processes in order to do this. How to collect the waste, how to sort the waste, and so on and so forth. But there is, and Nexum has technology where we can be a part of that, a link in that, and helping a small contribution, actually putting it back into the loop. So that is the recycling part. And I will hand back to you on for the overall for Nexum. And this is the, our relation to our, our customers. And, and this is, uh, you already touched the circular economy. And this is more to illustrate why I think Nexum is so interesting uh, beyond our technology. The, the relations we have usually with our customers. It's, it's never a one-off. It's never that they buy a material and then it's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's done. Uh, we will be a part of our customers' innovation and they will continuously uh, use our materials if they decide those uh, solutions. So we will have a long-lasting and very intimate uh, relation to all our customers. That, that's definitely and, uh, a reason why this can be an interesting company in Exam. I think we explained our part in a circular uh, economy. That's a, a second reason. The third one, and, and hopefully you, you, you understood it from, from, from the presentation, we have come quite far. It's a lot around here and now. We, can actually, we have a company, it's running, we are selling. Um, but we are still all, only in the beginning of our journey. So we, we have an expectation of a really long-lasting uh, increase of our sales and, and the growth of our company. And with that, I actually would like to just say thank you.
Thank you very much, gentlemen. Um, we are all afraid of microplastics. Um, does, the, does your product, your innovation, in any way hinder the microplastics from coming out? Let's say the water bottles here. If you yeah. recycle them too many times or you drink, you reuse them in your home, it, there's a leakage of microplastics yeah. into the drinking water. Does, does your technology in any way sort of facilitate the, the, the lessening of microplastics in, in, in our environment? I would like to say yes, but I think that's a little bit overstatement. Mm -hmm. No, it's more about when we actually do collect the plastics, mm -hmm. then we can do something useful about it. Mm -hmm. So putting, getting the plastic into the environment is not where it's supposed to be. No. So that, so that, is, that is a fundamental problem that actually goes beyond this technology. And, but on the other hand, if we can increase the value of plastic, we increase the reason to actually collect it. So, so in that okay. sense, uh, we definitely could say that we, we have some sort of solution, but it's, it's, uh, we don't need to claim anything no. for that. It's, it's a bigger picture that you can con con yeah. contribute to. Well, yeah. that's, of course, the most important picture. So if you look at competition, mm? where, what, what does that look like? Uh, this, uh, we, we of course have competitions everywhere, we, we, there are usually much larger companies than Exxon. And, uh, but if we look to, there are different types of competition, the, the in-kind and the non-in-kind competition, there are few companies doing exactly the same thing as we do, but you can always solve a problem in different ways, so you will find uh, other solutions to similar problems. Uh, on the other hand, the recycling, uh, and we will have different competition in different sectors, but if you speak about the recycling, it's a little bit like the energy production. We need all of it and more, and so, so uh, we, we'd rather like to consider alternative con uh, technology as complementary. Mm -hmm. we, we are going to take plastic recycling from 10% to 50% in eight years. We need all technology. Mm -hmm. Well said. Thank you very much. Thank you very yeah, much. Best of luck. Thank Thanks. you.